fought. The British were here. And when did that, when did that happen? 1900. Oh, 1900. 1900. Very recent, yeah. And the Ashantis besieged the fort, and the Ashantis cut every, uh, they cut all the telegraph wires. That the British can leak information that they are sieging the fort to keep oh, okay. Smart. So, for almost four or three months, the British in Cape Coast Castle didn't hear what is going on in Kumasi. The Ashantis besieged them here. They were here, the British couldn't go out. Most of them were even starving to death, and they had malaria and cholera. Yes, but the British had advantage because they were using powerful weapons. So, they were really killing a lot of the Ashantis. But if they killed thousands of the Ashantis, but instead of thousands, were retaliating. So, Ashantis have a saying in their language that, at war, if you kill thousands of them, Thousand will come back and fight against it, which is being translated in their language as Ukum Apema Apemeba. I don't know if you can raise your lips to speak some little bit. Chi. Can you repeat after me? Ukum Ukum Apem Apem Ah Apembeba Apembaba. Good. Are you an Ashanti? Oh, really? Okay. Ukum Apema Apemeba. So that is the slogan of the Ashanti army. And the Ashanti soul enema of the kingdom is the porcupine. I hope you know the porcupine. Yeah. Right. You can see that if the porcupine loses one of its, how do you call it? Quills. Quills. Immediately one will replace in less than a week. So they believe that if you call one of the amen, another one will come and replace him. Yes. 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 So even the, some of the Ashanti, like we had a porcupine inside. So the war was going on, but later on they were able to arrest the Asantua. So when they arrested the Asantua, they took the Asantua to a cell. I will get to that cell. So when we get, I will continue the war story to you. So Ashanti became part of British, not colony. The British had Ashanti as a protectorate, first January 1902. And the British added Ashanti to their colony, Gold Coast. But Ashanti fought for their independence from the British in the year 1935. Yes, so Ashanti here became independent more than Ghana as a country. So when Ghana became independent in 1957, and the Ashanti people added themselves to Ghana again. I don't know whether you get what I'm trying to say. So they were, so at that time, the, was there such thing as the name Ghana existing back then? It was Gold Coast. No, Gold Coast. It was Gold Coast. So the name was Gold Coast. So let me, there was no name like Ghana. No, so. no, like Kwame and Kuma changed the name to Ghana. Oh. So it was just, that time it was just Gold Coast. But Ashanti became part of Gold Coast in 1902. But they fought for independence. They became a free state from the British in 1935. Oh, okay. So when they became a free state, they exempt themselves from the Gold Coast. Oh, okay. But when Gold Coast had independence in 1957, and they say now we are also we are coming back to the Gold Coast, oh, okay. which is now Ghana. Oh, okay. So now independent. Yes. So now, which is also now independent. So in Ghana, Ashanti, yes. Ashanti is more like, a, I don't know how you understand, like semi-autonomous state. Uh, yeah, oh, okay. Kind of, yeah, the Native American okay. in America. So Seminole like Indians. Like that is how the Ashanti yeah. is. Okay. Like if you go to something like, let me say, like the Spain, we have the Catalonians in Spain. Yes. They are part yes. of Spain, yes. but they yes. believe in their kingdom and those stuff. Yes. Ashanti mm -hmm. is more like that. Sovereignty in between the Ashanti territories. Yeah. Ashanti yeah. is very powerful. It's very powerful. Yes, okay. Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. like, you know, the, let me say the Shaka Zulus Shaka of South Zulu. Africa. Wow. The Zulu king states, Zulu, that's the same thing. Oh, like okay. Ashantis, yeah. That is how it's like here yeah. in the Ashantis, yes. And one thing is that the British really respect the Ashantis and the Zulus because they didn't take it easy to colonize these two people in Africa. Like the British fought five wars with Ashantis. They won three and the British Ashantis won two. So wow. it took them over, over it took them more than 80 years before they were able to defeat the Ashantis. So it wasn't easy for them at all. So you can imagine. So later on the British were here. So the British were training soldiers, not Ashanti soldiers, but Ghanaian soldiers, to help them fight against their opponents in the world wars. So the world war didn't just happen in America or Europe, it also happened in Africa as well. Because wow. that time, the superpowers in the world, German, Italy, Britain, mm -hmm. and France, they were having colonies in Africa. Right. So the first world war, 1914 to 1918, the British took Ghanaian soldiers to Togo, Cameroon, Rwanda, to fight against the Germans over there, because that time, Germans were colonizing these countries, Togo, Cameroon, Rwanda, Namibia. Okay. So as we just went there to fight against the Germans, that was in 1914 to 1918, and in the Second World War, 1939 to 1945, they took us to Abyssinia, where now we have Ethiopia, Eritrea, and Somalia. We fought against the Italians over there. Yes. They were trying, to, but it wasn't successful. They made Ethiopia was not having it, man. To leave. It wasn't successful. It was yeah. never just six months, so it was never colonized. Yes. And he also took us to Asia to fight against the Japanese. This country. Uh, they call it uh, Burma, Myanmar, Myanmar. Yes, we fought against them. 
years. Myanmar, it was mainly called Burma. We fought against the Japanese in that country too. Yes. So we have about eight or nine exhibition rooms to go. You are free to ask any question. So may we proceed at all? Yes, sir. Of course, you are. You are in the crowd. Ghana Armed Forces Museum. So oh, sorry, sorry. Okay. You are right here. Can you stand here? No, I don't. That we fought in the world. Africans fought. They really use. They are not going to uh, Are you a Caribbean or an American? No. Yeah. Afro American. You know that? The British used a lot of Caribbean soldiers and African soldiers to really fight in the world. Those people from Jamaica and Barbados. The British really used those people. And even here, yeah, they really used those people a lot. So have you done your DNA to know your roots in Africa? Have you done your DNA ancestry? Yeah, we do have some Cameroon, Nigeria. But the highest percentage is Cameroon, right? Nigeria. You have Ghana? Yeah, Ghana. And Liberia? Okay. Yeah. And Liberia is more like uh, Liberia. I would say Liberia is more like United States of West Africa because I don't know. It's not like that, but it's like. Uh, it's clear that the 90, 99% of the African Americans yes. in America are from West Africa. Yes. So there was a time when they abolished the slave trade. If you want to uh, yes. come back, they, they ship brought them to Liberia yeah, yeah, the and some part of Sierra Leone. So brought them to Liberia. So Liberia is like free, black, yeah, white, but they don't know where they really come from in West Africa. Yes. About the world, they have natives there. Yeah. That is how like. Yes. So even oh, I'm gonna get out of here. So even before the Liberian Civil War, if we're Liberian, you have free visa to America. Just if you want to go to, it's easy. But when the civil, but easy. now because of the civil war and those things, it's very it's, it's easy not as difficult as, as, as other countries because it's Afro Americans who came there, people like you who came to Liberia, like diasporas who came to West Africa. Good. So, uh, Britain colonized four countries in West Africa. Can you help me mention the names of the countries that are colonized in West Africa? Ghana, Ghana. <laughs> Nigeria, Nigeria. It was a British colony. Oh, I don't know that. It's Sierra Leone and Gambia. Um, the Gambia? Yeah. yeah. So when the soldiers, these four countries, because they were all British colony, they were having one army using one currency. So their army it was called the Royal West African Frontier Force. So the British used these soldiers to fight against the Germans and the Italians in both the First and the Second World War. And we have the insignia that they were using, like their buttons that they were using. And there's the badge that from the Ghanaian soldiers were using. So we have it in common with both with Gambia, Sierra and Nigeria, but now we've changed it. Now most of our military people, they use something like this, like the, the black sign, the two eagles, oh, okay. because now we are independent. And these are some medals that was awarded to us who just fought very well in the World War. Yes. And we also arrested some weapons from the Italian, Japanese, and the Germans. Yes. Like this weapon, the one behind us is Italian mortar, captured from the Italians in the Second World War. When you put a bomb inside and you shoot, it can go as far as 2,000 meters or two, that is two kilometers. Yes. Three soldiers will break this gun, captured from the Italians. Yes, from the Second World War. And we have some rifles here. But one thing is that if they don't teach their children in their school that they use African to get to fight in the world war. They don't teach them. I mean, why would they do that? Yes. You must know. Know. The thing is like, you must understand. Yeah, there's so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yes. Everybody. I mean, I'm a Pan-African. So, if I start to talk, I'll talk, you know, yes. Just, just don't mind it. Well, um, okay, but this, they were in the military. This is a, they were in the military. military. So, did they pay them? Actually, it's more like, more wasn't, they were not really paid, they more was like voluntary. Because they, they influenced some people to fight for them. So, not really paid. So, they did not pay the soldiers oh. and yes. they had the soldiers in Influence to join risking their life, risking their life and influencing others to join and the, you're saying the crown did not pay these soldiers you can imagine even if they paid them it was not really a pay as in pay just that you can just give them some accommodation so it wasn't talking. like equal pay it oh. wasn't an equal pay they no something, something they didn't force them okay so my question is this um, oh. um what was the incentive to get these um these um foreign um soldiers to fight with them and what were they going to get um 
what benefit were they going to get out of it, you know, at the end, say if they survived it? Yeah, you know, because the only benefit that it gets is that it just gave them accommodation and because that time, like, like Ghana like this, in the olden days, 90% of the soldiers were from the northern part of Ghana, they are ticked off. And as at that time, those people in the northern part of Ghana, they were rather enslaved under some big kingdoms, like yeah. Ashantis. So you can imagine. So even in Ghana here, all the ethnic groups, it is the only the Ashantis that the British use force to conquer them. Okay. By the other groups, it was through trade and persuasion. They just persuaded them. So those people that they persuaded them, they can get their men to help them in the world wars. Mm. But in the world wars, only few Ashanti people joined because an Ashanti will never join and go and fight for the British. So let me ask this question. This is just the picture I'm getting. Okay. I don't so, know whether you're against what I'm trying to say. I'm military, so I'm thinking, trying to, trying to, cal right, trying to calculate. But, benefits, but he's saying there were no formal benefits. Like, there was no, like, equal. Like, they weren't okay. no, 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 no. They even forced them. They forced them. They forced men. They forced them. Okay. They forced them. And some, and some of the owns too, if you were a troublesome guy over there, your parents, you used to worry your parents, they would just push you. Hey, go and fight. Yes. So okay. with the, the king, session, the people who were willing to do it, people like, like voluntary, yeah, right, voluntarily voluntary. willing to, yes. This is and you must, you can imagine that time to white person influence. You know, even in Africa, yeah, in some communities, if a white person is involved, they say, hey, see his king, hey, white person, hey, white person. So, so you can see that so influence, the mentality, probably mentality was like, yes, because the British had a strong influence, influence. obviously with the guns, that is, you yeah. know, taking seats, and it, yes. And I'm thinking like, okay, the Ashanti kingdom also over to other kingdoms, other African kingdoms. So I would imagine if you're one of the kingdoms that have been overtaken, you're going to have some bitterness anyway, and sure. you're going to decide to yeah. go with the British. Go with the British, yeah, yeah. not against so you. all you get it. So, yeah, yeah. Enemy of my enemy, enemy is my friend. friend. Enemy is my friend. Okay, yes. okay. Yeah. All right. These are some rifles used in the World War II. Then you know some stuff about the word boys as well. Oh, a little something. Like, some. So these are some. <laughs> <rifles. laughs> these rifles were used in the second world war. Yeah. Oh. Ah, oh, see the bolt right there. Yeah. Lock it back to the rear, baby. So these are rifles. Ah, carbine model. Carbine model. Yes. The air carbine and play a lot Richard Cobb, none of them was the one. VC-24, hmm. Okay, model type of rifle. Uh, use eight millimeter rounds. Okay, into the magazine by Chargers, yep. Used by the Italians in the East African campaign, 1940 to 1941, all right. And this year is a year of return. It's a foreign rifle since the first slave ship reached Virginia and America. Yes. So a lot of people are tracing their riches to visit Africa. Right. Yeah, the year of the China. Year of return. Yes, yes. Your so when you went to Cape Coast Castle, the dungeons have been from your ancestors, you have cried. You feel that inside there? I personally didn't feel like, you know, a cry, but I do know a lot of people who went right, there. Yeah. I think there. recently, last week, this guy, uh, Marcus Hart, Steve Harvey. 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 He said he was crying. I watched a video and I said, yeah, he was crying. Yeah, I they cried a lot of people. Yes. And even in, in the Atlantic Ocean, a lot of black people have died in the ocean because most people when they are in the ship, if they, some of them haven't seen sea before. So if they see the big sea, some of them will just fall inside and they just leave them over there. Especially the time that they are going the slave trade, they were shipped on the sea going to America. So they had an information that, hey, don't send that ship, that slave to America. If you stick them there, we're going to jail you, the white person. So they don't, they have no idea. So most of them drop all that slave into the sea just to kill them. And some of, some of them. They looked at his cargo and not yes, yeah. So they just threw them on the sea. And some of them, they, took, they also took some of them to the Caribbean. Yes. Jamaican yes. and those islands. That is where Jamaican and those Yes, very few of us actually, the least amount of slaves ended up in South America. Actually, so we're like very few. Majority were in South America. South America. South America. Caribbean. 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 Yeah, Caribbean. 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 Caribbean from the Italians and the Jap Germans. The first one was coming from the Germans and the rest from the Italians. The people of Benito Mussolini, that poor person, had a fitless brain. Ah, okay. You know, we were the Aziz, Italy Japanese. Can you pull way out there? Oh, I need to pull out. Yeah, and get the all those. Okay. Yeah. 
Okay, let me just get this one real quick. Okay, Italian, so and Benin, brass handle, curve Italian. Okay, we captured it. Fine, it was like the war was between the British and Germans. So you the took their weapons? By Ghanaian soldiers. Wow. Captured. You took know, from Mussolini. From the, Mussolini was the commander in chief of the Italian army. Yes, so yes, we yes. The men of Mussolini. Wow. wow. And you can leave Japanese stars. That is awesome. Oh, they did work, man. Wow. Man, these blades right here will cut you in half. Yeah, these stars were captured with the Italians in the world. Oh, yeah. This is from the Germans yeah. and this is from the Italians. Yeah, this is a trophy that one of us so just won it in 1932 mm -hmm. when a shooting competition. It was called Hans Opera Alas. Yeah, so just that is the It looks like it looks like Japanese artillery. Tell us that. Hey, kind of, but it's a Japanese pistol. Might look similar. I guess they modeled it after Yeah, the Japanese are definitely the best um, mimickers, you know what I'm saying, of, you know, of anything. They can mimic it and copy it and make it a little bit better. strong man in bed because out of two wives he had 36 children. <laughs> out of two wives he had how? 36 children. And he had one to two grandchildren, you know. He was a soldier. He was a soldier. <laughs> <laughs> Typical. <laughs> yeah. That is his name. Uh -huh. That is his name, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's gonna make him. Oh, British medals and ribbons. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's because of his grandfather, the later of the He speaks about coronation of the... Yeah, King George IV. So, was he at the coronation or something? Was, it, no, the book. It was just a book about coronation. The book was for oh, his grandfather, but oh, later okay. was... Oh, okay. So, he just saw it. Just, oh. And there is a dagger. Uh, it was a dagger like this. A soldier used this dagger to stab a pregnant woman in Kumasi, somewhere 79. Wow. Yes. Because that time there was revolution and there was a series of carefuls in Kumasi. There was carefuls in Kumasi, so. Was this during the time when the king was in the exile? No, this one was. No, no, this one was even after independence, was in 1979. That was revolution, change of government, like coup d'etat. Oh. In Ghana, so yes. We had a new government, which was harsh. So did the. It was that in Ghana or That was just in Ghana. No, it was Did the king, like, of the Shantis, like the guy who was exiled, like, that? he came back? Oh, they came back long ago. The guy came back in 1924. To this day, is his family, the lineage, or... They are still there. No, no, it's still the same family. It's still the same family. It's the same way I found it. It's still where I found So, you know what? So, you see the first one was presented to the current one. I'll be going to make sure how it goes. So, you're going to learn more about that in the future. Oh. And in the only day, I'll show you a one that you can. These are some rifles used in the World War II. And now, because of technology, 
we have some four forms. Like even if you see the phone that is today, see the work we talk about the center. But you know what we want All of us have to be able to form one communication set for soldiers to communicate. So can you show me the batteries of this set? Oh, you're all wrong. They are the batteries. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and there's a how should I be like the transmitter, like the main system. And we have the dial for them to get the code or the number oh, numbers. Wow. And there is a switch. And there is the Morse, the Morse code. Uh -huh. right. And that is the antenna. Yes, all of these things come together for soldiers to communicate. So three black soldiers will carry this thing. And white, it's every, yes, every yes. three of them. And if you're a black soldier, all yeah. black soldiers were not allowed to wear boots or shoes until 1937. So in the first world, we also get sometimes work from here to talk with fight against the Germans, not even giving them shoes to wear. What were wow. Nothing. They were not giving them just barefoot. It was in 1937 before they gave the first soldier in West Africa shoes to wear. Not 1974. 1937. Oh, I don't know. You are telling us to fight for you, but you are not giving shoes to wear. Yeah, yeah, wow, that's a beast. Yeah, it's heavy. <laughs> and there's the bag. Can you imagine? This is all they used to do today with the cell phone. So it's looking like the, um, uh, the what, modern day warlock systems on the, um, they put on the Humvees. And then you would have like the special forces tack P's. Yeah. They would wear it, wear it with the right. backpack, with the phone. Something. And then what they do, they do the coordination Something with the Air Force and yeah. the other, tell them where to do the airstrikes at. Yeah. But now, you have some and there's a weapon machine gun used by the Italians in the Second World War. It's called Schweizlosi Middle Machine Gun. Yes. In Ghana, when you are a president, you are the commander in chief of the armed forces. So I think America definitely Trump will be the commander in chief of the armed forces here. Yeah. Technically, yeah. yeah. We're going to be the general. <laughs> but, but in name. Okay. So you get hands up for. Okay, he can. You pray for him. I pray for him. Yeah, let's say for the best. <laughs> So Kwame Nkrumah, he was the first president of Ghana and he was a Pan-African. He had independence for Ghana in 1987. And the next president was called General Ankara. There was an impeachment coup against Nkrumah. And the second president, and there was an impeachment against the second president and General Fufa took over. But a free father, the third one allowed us to have election. And the current president's father won the election. Akofuado's father, the current president, is that is the fourth one called Lord Akofuado. And there was another impeachment against Apu Fadafara and General Champo took over. There was another impeachment and the Kufu took over. And immediately there was an impeachment just for a few months and JJ allowed us to have election, and allowed the man. And the next one is JJ Rogers, the one with the two gloves. He ruled Ghana for 19 years. The next test, the last year, he ruled Ghana for 19 mm -hmm. years. He led as a dictator and eight years as a autocratic leader. Hey, I'm wrong, I'm wrong. He led as a democratic leader. Yeah. Yes. And we have Kofu Atamos, and there is a former president called John Dramani Mahama. I hope you've heard of him so. I ain't never had to clean nothing this big when I was in the military. See the spring right there. You mean that? It's all the same though. Just a bigger piece. It's bigger artillery, but the same mechanics virtually they work the same.
but they will speak for our president. Yeah. Okay, I am not going to invite you, they will speak for our president since the last Monday, Johnny Vance Campos. And to me, to me. Okay, so everyone will be selected. I mean, okay, the only reason why I say it was this was that he was students, he was so humble. That was his personality. Yes. And he was the only person to die on the seat as a president. Right. He died as a tough man. I thought it was the only person to die on the seat as a president. Recently, it's happened with some of the And now, let me show you the first thematic of Shukran in the world. But that is the one of the masses of it before independence. And this is uh, the Italian formations that we fought is in the Second World War. So the Italians were also using Ethiopians to help them fight against the British. So these are the Italian soldiers, like the formations. Mm -hmm. So have the Ethiopians fought with the Italians? Was this after or before they realized the Italians were trying to get the drop on them? You know one thing. Initially, the world or the League of Nations. I think it was League ah, of League Nations. Of Nations. Anyway. Okay. You know the League of Nations. The League of Nations uh, had no problem with the Italians trying to colonize Ethiopia. You know that like colonization being an argument with the people, yeah. but Benito Mussolini was having an idea to do a mass genocide, kill all the Ethiopians and take over the land. It cannot be possible. Mm. I don't know whether you get what I'm trying to say. Yeah. That was the idea of Benito Mussolini. That made the British yeah. waiting to defend the Ethiopians. Gotcha. If you want to colonize somebody, don't kill all the Ethiopians. Mm -hmm. His idea was to kill all the he just wanted to take the land. It's not going to be possible. Like, it's mine. Yeah. Yeah. It's not what I'm going to do. I see the way that you said you will kill every African black guy as fast as far. So he started with so Mussolini. That is how Mussolini was killed in two days. He wants to use as a farm. Basically, gonna wipe them out. Man, just basically, all out genocide, just wipe them out. Yeah. Extinction. Okay. Yes. Yeah, that's what he's gonna say. And then, in that thing, they don't wanna speak about this, but the largest genocide in the world was the Americans, what they did to the West Indies, the Native Americans. In America, like in the US. Right, yeah. that's right. Those yeah. 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 Wipe them out, yeah. But they're, they're not, yeah, they're not, yeah. they really yeah. kill those yeah. people. Yeah. They kill them. Yeah. But they don't wanna speak about it. Because that time, it was eight. About last five February, but they really killed them. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, so. Because they say like America is nobody's land, but we are, we are British Literally. Americans. Okay. They killed them by not a few people. Yeah, there's some, there's some. There's some yes, there's some. they really killed them. <laughs> yes, these are bleeds. Japanese and the Germans with this. Oh, okay, okay. Bayonets, okay. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, you forgot about Pearl Harbor. That's what I said. No, the Indians and Americans were not even part of the World War. The Second World War they were not part. Right, but that's the Japanese right. attacked the Americans in Calabo. That's right. That made the Americans. Yeah, like the Yoshima and those people. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, Japanese US more country, but they want to also compare America. So this is the first automatic machine in the world. It was manufactured by an American bomb British called Saint Ira Mazi. And in every minute, this so weapon tell me for you guys. Yeah. Italian weapons. I'm sorry. Oh don't worry. This weapon is highest type of military. And it was first used in Africa under Shantos. Oh Lord, and because this of is the first automatic weapon. Yes. And that's, so this first weapon. automatic weapon. Yes, first automatic. It replaced the Gatling. The Gatling of the Gatling. Gatling, Gatling. Okay. But I want us manual. Gatling. But it's automatic. Yeah. This is automatic. Yeah, Gatling. Yeah, manual. Yeah, right. It was very. Yeah. Because of its effectiveness, it get very hot. So when it get to, they put in water to cool, cool the temperature off. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mostly, so just don't get water. So if they don't get water. They pee inside. They store their urine for such purposes. Okay. Wow. Cause the work stoppage. Yeah. Right. You can't have that when you're trying to fight a win a war. Yeah. It uses the chain bullet, the belt fed bullet. Yeah. Yes. And even this one fires seven bullets a minute. Barata carbon. Manufactured in Italy. 
And this signpost was in front of the museum. Yes, don't understand why. But if you enter and your eyes are not at the base, you are not going to be a suicide. That's not what you say. More strong people. So, so sometimes they will intermarry from there. They will use some of their slaves, the people that they come to. They use their strong men. So if I'm a man, I will use that one of those slaves to sleep with my sister so that we get straight yeah. to guys. Okay, so that's not a practice. And they bread on us. Yeah. Okay, so please, uh, please, I'm here, I'm just showing you that that's because we can come to see. Oh, wow. Peace and love. This is so wonderful. More gaps I guess all those kids take prints stand for somebody's. So these are the original keys. The original keys in the museum. By museum, we don't throw things out. We always keep the keys. But now we change the locks. And the Ashanti's have a language. They have a symbol called the Dinkra symbols. Before the Europeans got their alphabet, there is Ashanti first form of uh, cryptography. That is started writing. And each of these symbols is attributed to our real life experience. Each of them has a meaning. Like this year, the year of return, they are using this symbol, Sankofa, which means back to your roots. It's a rooster who has turned his neck backwards. That is the meaning of these symbols. Yes. Sankofa? Sankofa? Sankofa. Yes, Sankofa. I've heard that word a lot in the States. What does it mean? It means back to your roots. Yes. And this one is called, yes, Edin Kraken. Which means leadership. It stands for leadership and commitment. In our language, we call it Edin Krahene. It stands for leadership and commitment, Edin Kraken. And this one means Nyami Inti. Nyami in the Ashanti language means God. Inti means because. So it means because of God, that is why we are alive. Yes. Before the Europeans brought their Christianity, Ashantis were believing in a supreme being. That they believe that he is in this. Some people even find they pray to him through some stones, tree, or any medium. But they believe in the supreme being. And this so one. They believed in one God. That they believe in one God. The supreme being. They believe in one God. They didn't know how to They didn't know how to reach him. him. They didn't know how to reach him. So sometimes, uh, so sometimes they would just reach him. Okay, please. Uh, Godfrey, come in. So sometimes, yeah, they didn't know how to reach him. So we've been in my house and all my family say that we want to reach the supreme being. So I just take a stone. And I'll say that that stone is a smaller God, it's a medium to the supreme being. Got please, it. Actually, I'm on top, so you just write this. Oh, are you on time? Are you in a room? So please, you can join us. So sometimes, I mean, so sometimes, some 